James Smith, recruiting analyst, NOLA.com, Times Picayune, here with another installment of What Makes Me Great. Today, featuring Tyron Johnson, wide receiver from Warren Easton, number one player in the state of Louisiana, and widely considered to be one of the top prospects in the country. Tyron wasn't born that way. As you'll see through these series, these kids put in a lot of work to get where they are. Many analysts around the country view Warren Easton wide receiver prospect Tyron Johnson as the nation's premier wide receiver. At 6'1", 190 pounds, Johnson possesses the frame, skill set, and rare playmaking ability that has helped distinguish himself as a premier prospect. Getting to that point has been no easy task for Johnson, who has taken on many doubters early in the process, including myself. He has achieved his lofty status by maximizing his potential with a vigorous workout regimen at Mental Edge Sports in Madisonville, Louisiana. would be his will plus DNA and knowledge. You put the three together, you get an elite athlete. Tyron does a great job of really focusing on what he does and really mastering what he does. And one thing about it even, you see him on, on Friday nights and he's all hyped up, he's all, you know, really cocky type guy. But when it comes time to work, he really presses the button and he works hard, he challenges himself. He wants to be the best in the facility and that's what he tries to do every time he works out. I come out here, I come out here 45 minutes a day because there's always room to improve. You know, I'm not the best. I'm, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get there. And uh, what strive, what strive me, uh, I lost two brothers like to the streets and one to the jail. So they be on my mind like all the time, and and did the reason why I strive like I strive. I gotta kill off the week that's got all you niggas excited. I can't even listen you while I'm a I was 12 years old playing for punk ball Harrell. Katrina hit, I went to Texas, came back, I was 12. I, uh, I ain't touched the football since before Katrina. My first time I touched the ball, I scored. I was like, this, this could be me, this could be my sport, and I never stopped. We can see the results of at an early age, working real hard. And I, he, I could see and I could tell he really loved the game, you know, because he went hard every play. Every play was like, you know, was never, you couldn't even imagine, you know, his habits, his work habits that he developed at an early age. It, it didn't take me very long to realize he was special. He was better than other kids. Because, you know, a lot of the other kids just didn't have the seriousness about the game. He took the game serious from the start. I think one thing that separates Tyron, he, he has a, that, that Tyron Mathis type of a, a, a swag. You know, regardless of the situation, you know a play's gonna be made. I think the biggest thing that separates Tyron from everyone else, you know, the kids in his generation, is that he's internally motivated. Um, he he pushes himself. He. He, he works out extra on his own. He does things football-wise um, that the average normal high school kid wouldn't do. Well, the team, we see him as a, a big leader since he's like the number one, so most of us look up to him, try to do what he's doing. So we watch him doing practice and doing th around the school to see you know, what, what would it take for us to be where he at. To be honest, I think the main factor of what drives Tyron is Tyron wants to be the best. Wherever school he goes to, he will be the best. This kid does a great job of being focused, and that's why he's in the, in the situation he is now, because he understands the little things he has to do. When I put on a helmet, everything I've been through flashed before my eyes, and I just, I just turned into a whole new person. Like, no man going to stop me from getting to where I need to go. 